Welcome to Dirty Wee Secrets of Scotland. This is just a bonus video to explain how to clean bottles once you've got them out of the ground. These are the ones that you saw yesterday that I found. They've been sitting overnight because you can't just take bottles out of the ground and then immediately put them in water because it can crack them and cause all sorts of problems. So, um, yeah. Oh, hello. Are you finally having your breakfast, are you, bud? Hi, Jack. Hiya. He's a good boy. Anyway, back to the video. So, yeah, so you need to get them stabilised overnight um, and then they go into a solution of soda, soda crystals, which is this stuff here, which has no petrochemicals in it, which is good. So they sit in here for a few days. Now, it depends how dirty the bottles are, but if they're really dirty, I'll leave them up, up to two weeks. These ones have been sitting for about four days. After that, they come over here. I've got an assortment of uh, bottle brushes. You've got to wear gloves, obviously. And this is just clean, plain water. Once you've cleaned them, put them up here to dry, and then I'll show you in the next part what they look like once they've been cleaned. All right, so these are the bottles from the last time I went out and uh, they're now clean, or as clean as I like to get them. Weirdly, I like to have a little bit of grime in there just to show that there are artifacts that have been underground, but most people would clean them until they're sparkling if they can, but anyway. So yeah, there's a Glasgow bottle. Um, Gates head, and that's a weird one, that's a green um, Jay's Fluid. They're normally brown, but I love that bottle. So that's going in my collection, definitely. Another Bovril, they're everywhere. And a Lillian Perns Aqua Glass. Um, what I've done here is I've just put these stoneware pieces in the sink because normally they don't, they don't even need a soak. I'll try and clean them and if they do need a soak I'll put them in with the rest of the bottles. So these bottles over here now, these are the ones that I found on video yesterday. These will just be going in. I'll start with the heaviest ones, obviously put them in the water. Or the solution should I say. And just make sure they sink. Make sure they're submerged completely. I give them a turn now and again as well just to make sure they're completely getting soaked. Yeah, so I'm not going to put them all in, but yeah, they go in the solution like that and I'll leave them for a few days um, and check them and just see when they're clean and then or be able to get the stuff off them and then take them out, clean them up. Hope that helped.